Hello and welcome to our new course on learning how to use SpaceCast program. SpaceCast is a very popular software in Australia for structural analysis and design of various types of structures. The aim of this course is to teach you how to use this software in order to practically model and analyze a structure. I am a professional engineer working in Australia with a solid knowledge of design and analysis of the reinforced and post-tension concrete, steel structures, composite systems, and masonry structures in accordance with Australian and international standards. I have worked on a range of projects, including buildings, stadiums, metro and train stations, rail structures, and airports. I also have a PhD in structural engineering, and because of my passion for education and teaching, I have also worked as a university lecturer in the past. To be a successful structural engineer, you need to be competent in using the relevant structural engineering programs that you might not get the chance to learn in university, but are very essential in your future professional life. For this reason, I have created this course to give you the skills required to practically use this SpaceCast program and to help you in your professional journey. This will be a step-by-step -step modeling and analysis of a steel frame warehouse, and I will explain and utilize all the necessary tools, tips, and tricks in this process. This course is beneficial for structural engineers, civil engineers, graduate engineers, and university students. This course includes a step-by-step -step modeling and analysis of a steel frame warehouse in a space gas, as well as interpreting the analysis results. You will learn about different tools and features in a space gas, how to specify different support conditions and end member restraint conditions, how to draw nodes and members, assign different sections or materials to a member for a specific code or country, how to use different tools such as subdivide a member, copy and filter as well as changing the graphics of the software to show the design actions and loads. Also, I will explain about the labeling and annotation in a space gas how to see node numbers, member and sections number and names, end fixities and member origins and local access. In the next part, I will define load cases and load combinations for string and serviceability checks, and then we will apply dead load and live load to the structure in accordance with these load cases. You will also learn how we can apply uniformly distributed and point loads on members, as well as how we can change the scale of these loads which are shown on the structure. After this, we will define bin load cases and load combinations for strain and serviceability checks in different directions perpendicular to the structure and we will have a high-level overview of the wind loading on a structure. In the next section, I will extend the model by copying the frame's loads and members, as well as adding additional struts and bracing members, and then we will have an overview of the loads applied, and we'll do some modifications before we analyze the model. In the analysis sections, we will look at different analysis methods 
in a space gas. And then we will run the nonlinear static analysis and buckling analysis. Finally, we will look at the design actions from analysis, such as bending moments, axial loads, shear forces, displacements, and torsion moments, as well as base reactions, and we'll also define some envelope load cases for strain and serviceability checks. By the end of this course, you will learn how to practically use this software to model and analyze a structure. My goal is to add value to my students by conveying my practical knowledge. So please do not hesitate to ask if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and hope to see you inside the course.